salesperson, what's the first thing they do when they get a prospect on the phone? They go, they go right to their, uh, they get, uh, they go right to their presentations, don't they? They go right in there and do the, and the, and they go into all the features and benefits in their presentation. Do they ask any questions? Do they find out what's the real needs or pains or problems of the prospect? No. So they give they give that presentation with very little uh, qualification, and then they go right into what we call tons of irrelevant information. They, they just give a lot of information to the prospect. They, 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 know, they don't know if the prospect has a need or what their need is, what their pain or problem is like a doctor would do. Um, they just throw the kitchen sink literally at that prospect, okay? Um, they get, um, let me open this up a little bit better. Um, they talk too much. They don't employ the 75-25 rule. Who should be talking more in a gut sales method or with a, a doctor-patient relationship? Who should be talking the most? The doctor or the patient? The patient. Yeah. Yeah. The patient. Why, yeah. Why should the patient yeah. be talking more? Yeah. They know what hurts. Yeah. They got to communicate with the doctor. Where does mm -hmm. it hurt? Yeah. And the, Where does it hurt? Right. Exactly. But the typical salesperson, do they do that? No, no, they just give no. a lot of irrelevant information. Do they use sometimes? Um, do they use sometimes? Uh, and some uh, systems still teach this uh, too much uh, phony or what we call pretentious bonding and rapport. Mm. Hi, how are you? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love your used dental floss. Oh, that's the best <laughs> I've ever seen. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. Okay, looking pictures of their asking about their kids, mm -hmm. the weather, or even yeah. worse. Politics. Exactly. Oh, politics, religion, sex, and diets are th four things you should never talk about. Diets will probably get you, lose you a good prospect right away. Very too yeah. controversial. Absolutely. Definitely. A absolutely. So the prospect, when, you, when it's too obvious, the prospect mistrusts the salesperson right away. If they're using obvious, old-fashioned, repetitive techniques. So then all of a sudden... The, can do uh, the typical salesperson, how do they handle objections? Do they get mo do they get negatively emo do they get emotional in sometimes in some yeah. situations? Definitely, definitely, especially if it's not the answer that they're looking for. And they're, you know, uh, let's say even in real estate, someone says, oh, I don't want to work with a realtor that they leave, you know, leave me alone. Most realtors are probably, you know, get defensive and say, why not? You know, what's wrong with realtors? And what happens when they get uh, when they get those objections and they get mm. defensive, and they also get emotionally involved? Can a bad salesperson get emotionally involved? We always talk about emotions, don't we? We want to make the prospect yeah. emotional, but what happens if the salesperson gets negatively emotional? Do you know what I mean by that? Start getting confrontational with the sellers. We right. Start getting into an argument that Bumping guess it. what? You're you're the one that's gonna lose. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get argumentative. Is that gonna lead you to a close? No way. No, no. no way. How about high no pressure? How about high pressure techniques that old fashioned salespeople use? What are those high fashion high pressure techniques that they use? Mm. Price goes up on Monday. That's called impending event close. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, scarcity. Yeah, I mean scarcity. We use it in guts, but mm -hmm. use the wrong way, which is insincere. Like that that fake report, that fake uh, scarcity of mm -hmm. like, oh, I, I can't guarantee I'm, this deal is going to be available for you. And I mean, the prospect knows they have way too much access to information. If, you, mm -hmm. if you're gonna if you're gonna take away a deal from a prospect, you have to do it with finesse. You have to, like I said, like a doctor. 